Today, we're going to talk to you about the importance of using a tripod when creating a cinemagraph. When creating a cinemagraph, there's one rule that you must never, ever break. For if you do, well, it'll just result in a cinemagraph that doesn't work. That one rule is to always shoot on a tripod, or always shoot on a stable surface. But we love tripods. Let's get started. What you'll need for this tutorial. Your camera or phone. A model or two. Cinemagraph Pro by Flixel. And of course, our favorite tool in the toolbox, a tripod. We're going to show you the result of not shooting with stability in mind. So I've just loaded our footage into Cinemagraph Pro. Let's take a look. Here we have Aaron playing the drums and Mahek just kind of staring at him. So <laughs> we'll choose a funny one of Mahek and then go in and mask. As you can see here, the footage is super stable. Aaron's drumming away, Mahek is still, and everything looks really clean. Let's try the same thing, but with our handheld footage. So here I've trimmed our video and chosen our still frame. Now I'm gonna go in and mask out Aaron. Right away you can see that once the mask is applied to our still image, the motion becomes messy and unstable. Now you may be thinking that you can shoot with the steadiest of hands and this rule doesn't apply to you. Sorry to break it to you, but even the steadiest of hands can jeopardize the final results. Now we understand that inspiration can strike at any given time. And sometimes you don't always have access to one of these three-legged wonders. We tried out a few alternatives for when you're forced to improvise. And if you don't want to go out and buy a pocket tripod or a beanbag of some sort, well, we think this is your best alternative. You can see that the simple bag of rice lets you position your camera angle on any surface you have at your disposal. Let us know if there are any tutorials that you'd like to see us tackle. And always remember to let your tripod know how much you respect and appreciate it. Oh, and thanks for watching.